Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, the reality of the matter is that we have never had peaceful demonstrations, strikes, and even picketings in our country. We have never had. It is always very seldom to see our demonstrations ending peacefully. <laughs> However much we try to make them sound peaceful, they can never end up peaceful. And one of the reasons is that we are dealing with monsters in the name of leaders, such that the moment people take matters in arms and end up in the streets, it can never actually be peaceful at the end of the day. Because even the aggression that is in the people is enough to tell you that we are not here for peace, okay? We are here to deal with the monster, the elephant in the room. right now what is happening it's really the aftermath of the d-day of revolution the biggest day of them all the tuesday the historic day okay right now what is coming out is something that needs to be looked at keenly because it is very serious there are two things that william Britton now needs to take into account for him to ensure that he contains things remember when we were starting the demos the gen z's combined with the millennials right you know, the force that was driving the demos was a force that was intrinsically defined. Meaning that, you know, the push was from within. So the young people had reached a point where they were saying, it is time for us to move out. So the first, the first organogram of Gen Z's demos was from the intrinsic aspect of a revolution that as its time arrived. So that is what happened. If you look at the very historic day, of course, the Tuesday, the biggest one of all of them, you know, that day, everything reached climax. You know, that was the peak. And it actually sent the message that needed to be sent and it changed everything totally well. Now, if you look at the subsequent ones, you will be trying to note that the more William Bruto is going to belittle or try to ignore the call that the Gen Z's are making that, you know, every Tuesday and Thursday we'll be having demos, I think things are going to grow thicker and thicker. Because strategically, if you look at how people are now coming to back up the demos, you know, there is only a very minute segment of people or fraction of people that are against the demos. Otherwise, the majority, the bigger chunk of the population is for this demos because they want things to change. And so if William Bruto is very careful, right now he needs to look at two things. Number one, giving in to the demands of the Gen Z's. Very important. And then number two, making sure that he looks at who is now fueling the Gen Z's demos. Because right now as things are really turning up, there is an invisible force or an invisible hand behind how demos are being carried out. Today I was in, 
in town actually CBD very early in the morning at around 5 a.m. you know <laughs> and, and I went to scan the environment I was just having uh, you know the, 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 the day's errands starting very early so I was in town and I was intending to look at the deployment of the general service unit men and women how they have always been deployed like the, the past Tuesday the past Thursdays so today what caught me by surprise is that at 5 a.m. you know there was no GSU in town in fact you know people are not so much like the usual norm but there was no serious deployment of um, the men in uniform that we have always been seeing all along so it informed me of one thing that perhaps William Ruto was thinking that you know because he had come out to just try to appeal to the people he was thinking that these young boys and girls would not have the space to resume the street at, at this time that I'm doing this video. You know, the nation has erupted in Mandamano. It is a serious one. If you look at how the media was really taken aback by how the crowd started to gather, all of a sudden, it is a serious thing. And most of the times what they say about serious demonstrations is that if you want to know that there is an invisible force behind the demo, Look at how the crowds always gather. They turn out to be very huge all of a sudden. And that is how they always connect it with the political events and moves. All right. Sometimes politicians can organize crowds strategically and plant them at a very timely point and basis such that when they want them to come out, all of a sudden they come out. So William Ruto now needs to go into looking at two things. Number one, giving into the demands of Gen Z's. Because if this invisible hand is not going to be seen, then this agencies will still be used until their grievance is met. For instance, when William Moore was saying that, you know, he understands the 10 points that the agencies actually fronted, where he said he is in concurrence with them, um, you know, talking about the reduction of MP's salary. And by the way, today, we saw that MP's have gotten a, a very hefty rise in their pace. Something is always amiss. You know, these MP's are just like MPs, which they were termed some time ago. Okay, if you look at people daily today, we have that story where MPs today they are having a huge pay rise, something very unusual, which we did not expect, especially at a time like this. So you talk of the some of the demands, you know, William Ruth needs to be very serious and very careful on them because these are the things that when we see them, they are really bringing up tensions. They are really uh, making the aggression to go up and up and things might not actually cool down in the near future. And at the same time, you see, when William Bruto is coming to resonate with the Genesis, he needs to resonate with the Genesis with a clean heart, with open heart. All right. There is now um, a need for William Bruto not to appear as a man that we are still seeing as a hypocritical man in his statements. For instance, he's coming to say that I am sorry yet people can actually see definitely inside him that you are not sorry, man. So I need, I think he needs to be very much well versed with what Gen Z's are capable of doing. If he continues to belittle, if he continues to just downplay the force that Gen Z's are going to be dispensing, you know, he will be having every Tuesday and Thursday a lockdown. And lockdown in the economic terms is a huge loss to the government. All right. If we are supposed to have honest reports, when our economy is losing right now, especially when we talk of Nairobi, our capital, very serious, okay? We are losing a lot every Tuesday and every Thursday. We are losing a lot, and it is a serious thing. If you go to town right now, if you walk to serious uh, streets where we have the Bujosis always placed and they even do their, um, you know, you know, shoppings and the rest, things were really vandalized. A lot of businesses were vandalized. They were broken into. They were really destroyed. I, I was looking at some of them they are really making up doors you know they are you know wanachomelea milango it was so serious it was such a huge mess so if you is not careful the businesses have lost if you talk of the report of kenya right now in the international platform you know we have been tainted so much and William Ruto has lost his reputation so he needs to be very careful with the demands and the grievances that gen z's met and he should not actually belittle them he needs to come out cleanly and, and he needs to embrace everything that Gen Z is, you know, demanded and be clean in the heart, be very honest, do not sound hypocritical, tell exactly Gen Z that I'm going to do for you what you want. 
we always say that if you can't beat them, please join them. This is the time that William Ruto needs to join the Gen Z's, actually, not just joining. I know he has, um, you know, the mandate of him remaining the president. You know, sometimes he must have a balance, but he needs to have that balance with wisdom. So wisdom right now will require that he gives in to the Gen Z's. He makes a conducive platform that nobody will again think that this man is hypocritical. And then after that, he will have tamed any invisible force that is behind Gen Z. Otherwise, if he doesn't do that every Tuesday, every Thursday, we'll be seeing, you know, Gen Z is coming up all of a sudden and things are stalling like we never thought. Like, for instance, right now, you know, in the morning, everything was just flowing smoothly well. All of a sudden, things have stalled and right now it's going to stall until tomorrow. So you can just kind of try to imagine the kind of loss that we are having for the day. It's such a serious one, ladies and gentlemen. And that William Ruto needs to know and he needs to be serious with everything that is going on. So for the Kisumu people, they decided to play games in, in the street because they actually saw that this kind of demonstration for today was not that much of the intensity that they expected it because with them, they are always used to high voltage demonstrations. But Mombasa is now serious. You know, Mombasa is, is, is the region that actually, you know, stirred up the today's intensity of demos. And all of a sudden, things came on board and things blew out of proportion. I'll see you next time. Have a great time.